Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to continue our mixture problem talk. All right, so this is going to be very similar to what we're talking about so far, where uh, there's some sort of rate in question. Okay, um, this time it'll be a little bit more challenging. Okay, but still keep in mind that it's very similar to what we've done yesterday. Um, and that's dealing with the fact that there's a rate and there's an amount. And from that, we have to get an equation. Okay? So, um, so here's the first problem. Suppose you work in a lab uh, and you need a 15% acid solution for certain tests, where your supplier only ships a 10% solution and a 30% solution. Rather than pay the hefty searcher to have the supplier make the 15% solution, you decide to mix the 10% solution and a 30% solution to make your own 15% solution. You need 10 liters of the 15% solution, how many liters of the 10% and how many liters of the 30% solution should you use? Okay, So there's a lot of information here, a lot of numbers. So the first thing we need to do is you need to pause me and copy down the question. Once you've done that, uh, you need to grab a highlighter and figure out um, what we're going to do. Okay. So what we know is we need a 15% solution. Okay. Um, we have a 10% solution and we have a 30% solution. So we have a 10% solution and a 30% solution. So you're going to mix the two and you are going to make a 15% solution and you need 10 liters of that 15% solution. Okay. And now the question is, how many liters um, of the 10% and the 30% solutions do you need? Okay. So the fact that it's telling, it's asking you how many liters of the 10% solution and the 30% solution do you need, that should tip you off right away um, what your variables are. All right. So they're telling you the rate. All right. The rate is a percentage, and they're asking you what the amount is. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're going to let x represent the amount of um, the 10% solution. All right? And we're also going to let y represent the amount of 30% solution. Okay? All right. So what I've got going is a little chart, and this chart's gonna let us organize our ideas, just like we talked about in class. Okay. So let's call this part the ten percent solution. Let's call this part the thirty percent solution. And now that leaves our total. Now instead of total, we can actually say we're talking about a 15% solution. Okay. Now, um, here is the tricky part, right? So up here we usually had amount, right? Here we had a rate, okay? But remember, in this case, the rate is given us, uh, given to us as a percentage, okay? And then this will be the total amount. Okay? So um, the amount of the 10% solution, we don't know, but we're letting X represent that. The amount of the 30% solution, we don't know, but we're letting Y represent that. And the total of the 15% solution, mm, well, that's 10. Right? So I need 10 liters of the 15% solution. Okay? The rate is, well, just like it's called, it's 10%. So that means it's 0 0.10. The rate for the 30% solution is 30%. And the rate for the 15% solution, we know is 15%. Okay. Now the total amount, so in this case, when we're saying amount, what we actually need is the acid, right? So it's the amount of acid that's in the solutions, right? So 10% of X is 0.1. 0x, 10% of y, 
or sorry, 30% of y is 0.30y, and 15% of 10 is 0.15 of 10. Okay? All right, so that now gives us our equations. All right, so there's equation one, and it says x plus y is equal to 10, okay? And here's equation two, and that says 0.1x plus 0.3y is equal to 0 0.15 times 10, so 1.5. All right, so we've got our two equations, right? One and two, and now we want to go about solving it, okay? So they're lined up pretty well, um, so we just have to figure out what do we need to multiply by so we can make the coefficients match up, okay? So I'm, I'm going to multiply this by, what do you think, how can I turn this into a coefficient of one? Well, I can multiply it by 10, right? So now that gives me an equation, which is 10 times 0 0.1, so 1x plus 10 times 0 0.3, 3y, is equal to 10 times 1.5, which is 15. Okay? So now I have equation one, which is x plus y is 10. I have equation two, which is x plus 3y is 15. And what I'm gonna do with the equations is I'm gonna subtract them to make the x's go away, right? So I'm gonna eliminate. So x minus x is gone. y minus 3y is negative 2y. And 10 minus 5, sorry, 10 minus 15 is negative 5. So now I divide by negative 2. And I'm left with y is equal to 5 divided by 2, 2.5. Okay? So now, um, we need to find out what x is. And the way to do that is we can plug it into that equation right there is the easiest x plus y equals 10. So that means x plus 2.5, which is our y, is equal to 10. So that means x is equal to 10 minus 2.5, 7.5. All right. So now we can make our final statement. So you need um, 2.5 liters of the 30% solution and 7.5 liters of the 10% solution. Okay, and that will give you your uh, 10 liters uh, 15% solution. Okay. All right. So let's go to the next problem. So in this case, we have coffee that's worth a dollar oh five per pound, and you're mixing it with coffee that's worth eighty five cents per pound. You're going to obtain twenty pounds of a mixture worth ninety cents a pound. Okay. So right now, okay, let's start filling in some of these problems. Right. So this is coffee. Um, that's at 105 per pound. This is coffee that's at 85 cents a pound. And this is coffee that's at 90 cents a pound. Okay? So the amount, we don't know. So we're going to call that X. We're going to call that Y. The total amount, we know, is 20. Right? Um, the cost per pound or rate is, we already know that, that's 105. Um, this one is 0 0.85 and this one is 0 0.9. Okay, and so our total cost is, so the total cost of this amount of coffee is going to be 1.05x. Total cost of this amount of coffee is 
y, and the total cost of this amount of coffee is going to be 0 0.9 times 20. Okay? So, um, let's see where that gets us. So that gets us equation 1 is done. Okay? Um, equation 2 is done. So 0 0.9 times 20 is 18. Okay? And so there's our two equations, right? 1, 2. Okay? So I'm actually going to leave this for you to solve. Okay? Um, using whatever method you like. And you need to bring that solution to class. All right. So that's that. And we'll see you tomorrow.